Welcome to the Nick and Matt Show. Bringing the player interviews you want to hear and the hot topics you want to discuss. Streaming live on the Foundation Podcast YouTube channel, here's Nick and Matt. Uh, let's go ahead and bring him in and find out a little bit about him. Uh, how is it going, James? And uh, where are you calling us from? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, it's going good. I'm calling you from up in Seattle, Washington. Okay. Is this where you're living? Is this the hometown for you? Yeah, I was born and raised two hours north of where Daylaw is. Um, and then in January of this year, I moved up to Seattle to live with my girlfriend who's going up here for grad school. Nice. And are you so I mean, we'll obviously get into this in the interview, but do you work another job or are you focus solely on disc golf at the moment? I do. I teach special education. So. Wow. Nice. Very cool. Very, yeah. very cool. Uh, you probably are already the, learning new things. I love it. Yeah. You probably yeah. get the wow often when someone says that. Um, what does it take? What does it take? And I guess, how do I say this? Because I want you to brag on yourself, but that's hard to do. What does it take to be a special okay. education teacher? Um, I think, you know, you just have to want to be there for the kids. There's a lot of kind of politics that comes with education and, and obviously they can, you know, all kids can be frustrating at times. Um, so, um, I originally, I went to school to teach high school math. Uh, and then d during my undergrad, I found special education and students with disabilities. And, um, I just, it, the work meant so much more to me making connections with those kids. And, and, uh, so I just, you know, I was really drawn to, to that side, um, and that specific group of students. And, uh, it's, part of the reason why I'm not on tour full time is because mm -hmm. I just love doing what I do so much. So that's awesome. Incredible. Yeah. Cause you're obviously an incredibly gifted disc golfer as well as probably a very incredibly gifted teacher. And so it's really cool where you're able to dedicate so much into both of the things that you love. So I guess kind of starting off with the interview aspect of everything, how did you get into disc golf? Um, so growing up in California, there was actually a course right by my house when I was a little kid, uh, when I was maybe six or seven, my dad took me over there. We had no idea what it was, uh, just seeing people play it, driving, driving by. And, um, you know, we went over there with a big old beach Frisbee and someone showed us the disc golf disc. This was back in 2002, 2003. So, um, the sport was still pretty new, but, um, yeah, we, we had fun with it. We started playing the weekly every week. And as I got older and and grew a little bit more and could play bigger courses. We, we started, you know, doing more weeklies and, and in 2007, I played my first tournament. Um, and just, you know, I was pretty busy in high school, so I didn't get to play too much. I only played five, six, seven tournaments a year. Uh, and then when I went to college, um, in Reno, that's when it kind of, the sport really took off for me because I had more free time and being that close to Tahoe, all those courses around Tahoe, it's, how I spent most of my free time in college. Wow. So, okay. Spent most of your free time up till this point, maybe your friends in college all the way up to this point, what would somebody, how would one of those people that you played with so often describe your disc golf game? What would they say is like your strength? Um, you know, I've been playing for so long and, and before I was always backhand dominant. Um, and, and a forehand was definitely a weakness in my game. And so I spent a lot of time focusing on that. Um, but as far as like a pure strength go, I don't, I, I think, you know, just being a smart disc golfer, I want to say that sounds kind of boring, but I kind of know how to, um, you know, just how to attack courses and how to get under par. I mean, I don't throw 700 feet and I don't bang every 80 foot putt, but just, you know, consistency doing all the small things. Um, and I, I like to pride myself on my putting. It was actually kind of a weakness for me at day law. Um, but um, yeah, you know, I'm not like crazy, super flashy. I just, I just try to do all the small things well. 